Hello guys, welcome to Review Maza. And today we are going to look at a question that uh, what what should we do with the reject water that is coming out from your RO? As you can see, the reject water uh, level is very much high as compared to the pure water coming out product water. So, how much? Another question is asked: uh, How much waste water or reject water comes with a uh, when we when we install a RO membrane, uh, when we install a new RO membrane, what is the amount of waste water that has to be coming out? So basically, my friends, if you install a ATGPD RO membrane, and if your uh, using your incoming TDS is low, it is uh, below 100 or below 200. Uh, the inlet TDS is below 200, then most probably the wastage water ratio would be 1 liter uh, product water and the wastage water would be approximately 3 liters if your TDS levels are very high like 1000 plus then your wastage water will be 1 liter to 4 liter also and in some cases it also happens that 5 to 6 liters uh, water is wasted if your TDS, TDS levels are very high so uh, when whenever you filter water the TDS levels rises as uh, the membrane is used as the membrane gets older and older the reject water also rises and the product water level comes down so if when your product level product water level comes very low means it takes almost uh, more than hour to fill a 15 liters tank then absolutely if your uh, filter is producing very low water, it, it's taking 2 hours or 3 hours to fill a 15 liters tank, then your RO membrane has to be replaced because it has already um, accumulated lot of contaminants. With RO membrane, you have to replace all the filters, premier, premier, preliminary filters also. So the new RO membrane's life is not damaged. And another thing, very important thing, whenever we replace an RO membrane, we must also replace the flow restrictor and my friends thank you very much if you have any questions and uh, please please uh, please feel free to ask another question for uh, asked was that what can we do with the waste water because if so much of water is getting wasted uh, can i use this water for household purposes or for uh, gardening purposes Yes friends, this if your drain water, if your reject water TDS is uh, less than 500 uh, ppm then absolutely you can use this water for your household purposes like cleaning, floor cleaning or uh, gardening to the plants and another uh, any such things like washing utensils but if your uh, TDS levels are high, uh, the reject water TDS levels are higher than 1000 then you cannot use the water to water to plants also because high alkaline level of that water will affect the growth of the plants also and the, sometimes the plants may die also and even for washing floor or if you wash if you're putting this water into the washing machine also the higher levels of alkalinity or the higher levels of minerals will cause the the scaling to your washing machine also and it may also damage the internal parts of your washing machine or any other electrical appliance so it is advisable that you uh, should not use the reject water if your reject water TDS levels are more than 500 ppm so that's it friends thank you very much if you have any questions please feel free to ask me thank you very much